week, I am returning my attention to the foundation work under the camp and in the saloon. The context for all that is that the saloon build provides new usable space, but is part of a larger effort to replace the entire old post and beam foundation. Completing the new post and beam foundation is the first big step in the restoration of this big old 1880s camp. This camp is on a lake. This lake is in Maine. Maine is up here. While we're working in the saloon, let's have a ledge update. You remember this tower of stone that's over here in the corner? I've been beating on it with a sledgehammer for a couple days and I've reduced it down to this single stone. I still have to heave ho all these big chunks out of here. Now that I'm looking at this really quite beautiful chunk of granite, it turns out it's granite, I think I have a plan. We're behind the bar right here. The bar is right here. You're making coffee, you're making drinks. Having a sink would be a plus. Sink has to be higher than the sewer line. So I'm starting to imagine pouring essentially the concrete footing on top of this stone. And then you've got an elevated area. Sink can go right here. If it's here, we're above the sewer line. We can plumb it, it'll work. Will water seep in underneath or around this stone I'm leaving in the back corner? Maybe. This big chunk of ledge has been here for a year and there's no moisture weeping in around it. So let's choose to be optimistic and uh, keep this in here because it'll look pretty great. That's the plan. Forging on. <laughs>
now it is high time to frame up and pour the big concrete wall at the back of the room. I wouldn't say that I've been putting it off for two months, but I have been strategically doing other things for two months. I have a fresh batch of plywood, a fresh batch of two by four framing studs, and I've learned the hard way how remarkably powerful the weight and mass of concrete is inside these forms. So I'm gonna engineer this one in such a way that the pour is a little less stressful, beginning with mounting some blocks to the footing, which the back of this wall will press against.
I love concrete. 